Hi everyone, welcome to a new project for Scrap and Create. This is a Catch of the Day from Graphic 45. And it is quite a large album folio combination. Um, let me give you measurements. It is eight by six and a half with a two and a half inch spine, I think, give or take. Hello, Jolly. Sorry, a little interruption. Okay, sorry about that. All right. And it is tied with uh, navy grow green. And it's quite a dark navy. I'm not sure how it looks on screen or in the photographs, but it's pretty dark. And this is from Scrap and Create, all the fibers, the um, all the ribbons came from there. Uh, so I have one of the chipboards. This is one of the ephemera. This is one of the charms that came with my order and some of the ribbons. And another chipboard here and an ephemera there. So that is the outside. And I'm being a little cautious because I literally just glued that on. So we will open it up and you can see it opens this way and then this way. And I, you probably can't see that. I don't think it fits under my camera. But I will slide it back and forth. Okay, we'll concentrate on one side at a time. Um, so on the spine, so this is the, the outside spine, we have a little stacked pocket. And in this, are, I used Graphic 45 tags in the ATC large and regular size. So this one is a regular, this one's a large, and they've just been trimmed down to um, two inches wide. And that one has um, a sticker on it from the stickers. And there's that one. And then this one of the stickers. This is one of the chipboards. Um, so this is the inside, inside front cover. And it's got a stacked pockets also. And two ATC cards, fully matted. And then a little photo mat. And in the upper pocket, we've got one of the regular um, Graphic 45 tags. And this has been matted with one of the journal cards, which I also had. And just plain navy on the back. This is one of the journal cards. And then this is a little booklet. This one's matted in this creamy paper. And then with the anchors on the back. I did have the... Um, full collection with the 8x8 and the 12x12 and I had the patterns and solids. Put that in. Take those off a little bit. Okay, so then here we have, these are journal cards that are matting these two flaps. And then this opens this way and we have another pocket with a large photo mat and a tag. That, okay. And then this flips this way and we have a flap with a pocket and in the pocket is one of the large tags that we've um, added some of the ephemera to and um, it's matted on the back and then this is a trifold it's only got one mat on it right now because I wasn't sure how much paper I would have left I'll probably go back through and map the rest of it though because I do have enough left that goes there and this opens this way and there's a pocket with some of the smaller journal cards and then um, just a little mat. Here's one of the stickers. This flips up and down so lots of room for pictures there. And that closes like that and then this opens this way and we have another pocket with another regular tag, journal card, a large tag and a photo map. Those all go in there. Like that. Okay. And then this side is a mirror image of that side. Just similar, uh, similar in mats and everything. So here we have the journal cards on the flaps. The large flap that opens. Again, we have a tag and a photo mat. And those go like that. 
And then we have the same pocket. This tag has a different ephemera, another one of the trifolds. That goes there. And then this goes like that. And did I show you that? I don't remember, but it's exactly the same as the other one. Um, we just I just uh, matted them opposite. The orange on top, blue on the bottom, and the other one has blue on the top and orange on the bottom. And then on the back inside cover, we have the same um, artist trading size tags, photo mat, a regular tag matted with one of the journal cards, a, another journal card, and then this booklet has the navy on the inside. Sorry if you're hearing that noise. I think it's a plane going overhead or a helicopter or something. There we go. Okay, so that. And then those close like that. And then like that. And then this ties. In. Now, I'm tying it in a bow right now, but I also tied it in a half Windsor, like a, like a men's necktie, and that looked cute too. So if you're giving it to a man, you could do it that way. Or just anybody who likes that kind of a tie. Alright, so that is that. I will get started on the tutorial very soon. Um, most likely in a day or two, I will have a cutting guide for it. I'll have a link down below to Scrap and Create with a list of the supplies, so you can go ahead and get all your supplies there. And I guess that's it. I hope you'll join me to make it. Thanks so much for watching. Please like, share, and subscribe, and I will see you next time. Bye-bye.